Georgia Tech feels like a very short app this year, so that means substance is key. Stick around for key, key tips on how to stand out. Thank you for joining me on my channel. I'm Dr. Josie. This is Write Your Acceptance. For the best college essay advice, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you never miss a video. I have worked with a ton of students at this point and really kind of focused on helping them showcase their best self, their most compelling self in their main essay and supplements. And that's what we're gonna look at for Georgia Tech today. Georgia Tech basically has two prompts required for all students, the main essay and then one supplemental essay. The first one is the main common application essay that is capped at 650 words. I will link a couple of my videos above. I have plenty on those if you're still working on that one. I have from brainstorming to thinking about how you can deepen the kind of creative elements and critical thinking because that is the dance you want to do in that main essay and with kind of room to, to stretch a little bit intellectually and, and creatively, you want to kind of take advantage of that. And then you have one supplement and that's what we'll focus on here today. So the prompt is a max of 300 words and it is, why do you want to study your chosen major specifically at Georgia Tech? So with just one supplement and only 300 words, you really want to focus on efficient substance. And that means you want to make sure that you are kind of top heavy on the why us research. If you want more information on how to do kind of the why us breakdown thoroughly, um, you can check out last week's video and I will link it above here and you can kind of go there. But for Georgia Tech specifically, with just 300 words and their focus is on your chosen major and why you wanna specifically study that major at Georgia Tech. So how do you see yourself intellectually fitting in to the academic, intellectual, and cultural vibe of Georgia Tech within your major, right? You wanna focus on academics and intellectual pursuits. So basically it's kind of like a light version of the matchmaking technique that I mentioned in my previous video. It is a little bit of you and a lot of them. With 300 words, I like to kind of envision it because I'm very kind of visual with essays. I like to kind of envision it as two paragraph essay, maybe the top paragraph, the first paragraph is a mini anecdote, a story about you kind of engaging in an extracurricular activity, an independent project, something that kind of exemplifies, demonstrates you in the field, in the major in some way. And then kind of paragraph two could be a lot about them and you connecting that opening experience to how you would kind of, you know, why that was a spark moment maybe for the major, but then also how you're going to kind of continue deep in advance, investigate that major at Georgia Tech specifically. And that's where you go kind of heavy on their information. A course, two courses maybe, the major name, a research opportunity, a community service opportunity that could be linked, kind of like civically engaged learning that can be linked to your major. So, so think about how you're going to kind of show them your spark or interest in the field, how you've already kind of engaged with that field, and then kind of why us. That's one potential, there are many different ways to do it, but that's kind of one that I've seen that works well. If you continue with this two paragraph format, here are a couple of examples from students. So I've seen a student kind of work through their nonprofit kind of student organization that they were uh, teaching coding to elementary middle school students. I've seen students work off of a story that they participated in an engineering project that they did for school. And then I've seen students kind of work through a 3D printing project that they did as an independent project that they pitched to their um, AP class. Then the last line potentially of paragraph one after you mentioned the story is how you kind of connect that to Georgia Tech. So at Georgia Tech, I would pursue computer science and then you can mention the coding, sparked my interest in a lifelong whatever, whatever. And then paragraph two would be all about them. A course, a professor, get in there with the research. So the secondary kind of that second level of, of depth. So not only name a course, but find a syllabus, find a professor who's working on that. Maybe they published a, a book recently and you can name the book or what it's about. Find the learning outcome from the course catalog of the of class that you mentioned and kind of rephrase some of the learning outcomes, like what they're promising that you will take away and you will have knowledge of once you complete the course, that's of interest to you, right? So you can say, taking financial markets and financial models would be of interest because, and then you can mention something from the learning outcomes of the specific course. Stay humble, my friends, please, please. Maintain a conditional 
language. It is important that you say, I would take this course. It would be an honor to participate in. Don't say, I will. Don't come in hot. I would kind of really stay in the conditional because that kind of shows a little bit of humility. And I think it just kind of sounds better from a chronology perspective, where you are in the process, right? So I just think it, it's a little jarring for me personally when the student is just kind of so straight up confident with their verb choices. Do you have a YS essay that you are working on? Name the school below, maybe we can chat about details. So double bonus tip for Georgia Tech specifically, they wanna see you curate your activities section, your extracurricular section. They are really committed to community. I will show kind of their website. And so you can see kind of they, they have their tips in their own short videos on how to approach their application. So you wanna kind of think about how maybe in your list of extracurriculars, maybe there's three to five that are your main activities that you have a leadership role in, that you have a really kind of focused on. So it looks more kind of like intentional, the work that you've been doing beyond the classroom. So, so really think about how you're curating the entire application because your essays are, yes, key and very, very important, but I'm biased, but I think honestly that they are. However, they are one piece of a larger puzzle and you wanna kind of think about how your main essay, the content of your main essay is being complemented by the supplement that you're writing, is being complemented by the extracurricular activities and little blurbs that you can say. Don't just list them, kind of talk a little bit about them and your leadership role or what you've learned and what you've kind of offered yourself. If you have a few why us type essays that you want more information on and more guidance on, I have a template that you can grab in the description below. It has a phrase bank. It has an actual template that you can kind of model after and really flesh out and particularize with an opening anecdote with kind of like more personal content throughout. But it really gives you that heads up as to what you should be researching, phrases that you can be using and kind of a guidance. That's, like I said, in the description below. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like, share with your friends, and I will see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye.